I am a physician, pediatrician, pediatric gastroenterologist, also having trained in adolescent medicine, and I have a particular interest in pediatric behavior. I was born in Boston, and I went to high school and college and medical school in Boston, attended Harvard University, Tufts Medical School, had my residency in New York, and a fellowship in adolescent medicine. Uh, along the way, I was awarded a honorary master's degree by Yale University, and through the North American Society for Pediatric Gastroenterology, which is our parent organization for pediatric gastroenterologists, uh, in 2009, I was awarded the Distinguished Service Award, which is a Lifetime Achievement Award. I became interested in taking care of youngsters with encopresis in part because one of my five youngsters uh, had encopresis uh, from age four to eight. So one of the things that I think uh, makes my program special is that not only have I concentrated in uh, this field for more than 45 years, but I've experienced it personally. The question comes up as to why uh, I have a niche, uh, a brand, as someone who wants to take care of kids uh, with withholding and encopresis. Uh, people often ask, don't you do anything else in pediatric gastroenterology? I actually spent uh, probably 30 years of my career, and I've been in medicine for 51 years, I spent 30 years primarily taking care of youngsters with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And I think that that's important work, but that's work that's done very competently and effectively by many, many pediatric gastroenterologists. What I realized over time was there are very few pediatric gastroenterologists who really uh, do a good job taking care of kids with withholding and encopresis. It has nothing to do with how intelligent that doctor is, but rather the training that that doctor has received and how much time and effort and the interest that that doctor may have or may not have in taking care of kids with encopresis. Uh, I've worked with uh, pediatric gastroenterologists who are much smarter than I, uh, but they don't tend to gravitate towards taking care of kids with encopresis. I find it incredibly satisfying to know that uh, I've changed a child's life and have helped the family through uh, terrible problems such as I experienced when my child was at Edgar Park. Many pediatric gastroenterologists realize their limitations in taking care of kids with encopresis. We can't be good at everything. And they do refer patients to me. Uh, many of those patients uh, become part of my program. I get back to those doctors and I think that we also create a partnership so that in the end, those patients whom I've taken care of can go back to their pediatric gastroenterologist and receive further care. People frequently ask me, why do you care about youngsters who withhold and are encopretic? Uh, one of the things uh, that's obvious is that, having already said that I don't believe these children need a lot of tests, uh, it is not particularly economically exciting for a hospital or for a doctor to take care of kids with encopresis. Uh, insurance companies really don't reimburse well. So there have to be other reasons why one wants to commit this type of time and energy. I think that part of it is I've always been interested in populations of children that I think are underserved by the medical community. And certainly youngsters with withholding encopresis are not served well by the, by the medical community. Uh, there's very little uh, interest in taking care of kids with these problems. It requires a huge commitment uh, in terms of time. One has to work full time. You can't work part time uh, because you have to be there for your patients and their families. You have to be there to answer questions, to offer the support that's necessary so that people don't quit the program. Uh, more importantly, if I really think about it, uh, uh, I had a child with withholding an encopresis. 
That child was four years of age and the problem lasted four years. I didn't have anyone to help me. I had adult gastroenterologist who wanted to do adult things with my child. And I realized at that time that someday uh, that I was going to make a difference. And I think that working with kids with uh, withholding nancapresis, that's having a, a huge impact on underserved kids and saving families frequently from emotional disaster.